Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to explain how to prevent hackers from gaining unauthorized access to your Windows server via Remote Desktop Protocol or RDP for short. On my screen is the desktop of my home computer. I'm going to open up an RDP connection to a computer that is located many thousands of miles away in another state. It was that simple. So as you can see, I have complete access to this remote desktop. This computer is located you know, in another state, but it's as if the console were right here in front of me. How is this possible? Well, I'm using remote desktop protocol, uh, RDP for short. So RDP uses TCP port 3389 for incoming connections or UDP port 3389 for incoming connections, but the UDP port is um, optional uh, you can turn that on by default. You'll be it's always TCP port 3389. So how do hackers gain unauthorized access to your Windows server via RDP? Okay, well, they usually use something called brute force. So brute force is a hacking method that uses trial and error to crack passwords and login credentials. So what they do is they scour the internet for IP addresses and then um, see if those IP addresses have port 3389 open or UDP port 3389 open. If those ports are open, then they connect to that computer. And once they have connected to that computer, they, they're asked for a username and password. And that's what, at, at that point is when they use brute force. They start entering uh, a lot of different username and passwords um, with a program. And they, they can basically enter millions of username and passwords until they try to figure what your username and password is. Don't be fooled. No matter how complicated you think your password is, at some point or another, if they're given it enough time, they will figure out your password. So how can we? How can you prevent brute force attack on your Windows server? Very simple. There's two different policies within Windows, uh, two different uh, features within Windows that will allow you to prevent brute force attacks on your Windows server. The first one is the local security policy. The second one is the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced settings. And I'm going to teach you how to do this with both of them. So let's first start with local security policy. Uh, so you on the bottom left, you're going to type in local security policy in search, and you're going to open it up. Once it's open, you're going to click on account policies, and you're going to select account lockout policy. In account lockout policy, you're going to select account lockout threshold. As you can see by default, Windows has to set to zero. That means that there is no lockout threshold. That means that the, the hackers can go ahead and, and type in as many username and passwords as they like. Usually by default, Windows servers use the, uh, the name administrator as the username. So all they really have to do is figure out the password. So they try administrator and then they try A, A, and then A, B, then A, C, and then they just keep going until they start adding numbers and letters and symbols. And believe me, no matter how hard you, you think, how difficult you think your password is to figure out, at some point or another, they will figure it out. So you need to do this. So this is an account lockout threshold. We're going to set this to three. That means that if there are three invalid login attempts, they're going to be locked out. So you're going to click on apply. And once you're on this screen, uh, you're going to see a little window open up and it's going to tell you that, the, uh, it's going to show you the duration. So here by default, it says 30 minutes. You could change this um, later, but I think that 30 minutes is reasonable. That means that if anybody, uh, if people try to, if anyone attempts to log into your system and they get the username and password wrong at least three times, they will be locked out for 30 minutes. This makes it extremely difficult for any hacker to figure out your password with a program. So we're going to go ahead and click OK here, and that's it. You're done. So we took care of local security policy. Now we're going to move on to Windows Defender Firewall. Um, so the way what we're going to do is on the bottom left, again, you're going to type in Windows Defender Firewall. You're going to open it up and then you're going to click on inbound rules. Remember the remote desktop protocol is done uh, 
by using TCP port 3389, that's an inbound connection from your home computer to the server. So the server is allowing the inbound connection. So we are going to go into inbound rules and then we are going to scroll down to remote desktop user TCP in. Now, as you can see, there's also two other ones. One is remote desktop shadow TCP in. The other one is remote desktop user UDP in, which it will be this one. So you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna secure this TCP port. You're also gonna wanna secure the UDP port. You also will wanna secure the shadow TCP in. Shadow um, basically me it's it's sometimes used to, for support. The shadow feature means that while you're working on your server, either physically on the console or via RDP, it's possible for another user to view your session or even control it. But right now we are connected with remote desktop user mode TCP in. So we're gonna go ahead and open that. Then we are going to click on scope. And here on scope, you are going, uh, you're going to see it says remote IP addresses. Here is where um, we, we specify which IP addresses are allowed to remote desktop into this computer. So as you can see by default, Windows always has any IP address. Um, you don't want to leave it like that because that means that anybody can try to connect and that's probably the reason why if you're checking your logs you see a lot of different connections coming in so what you want to do is you want to select these ip addresses now click on add and i am going to i am going to enter the ip address of the computer that i am currently connected with now if you enter if you enter and save any other IP address than the one that you're currently connected with, the, the moment you save it, your connection is going to drop. So big warning, enter first the IP address that you're currently connected with so that that connection remains alive, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and enter my uh, home computer's IP address and click okay. I'm going to apply it. As you can see, my connection has not dropped. That is because um, I, I first entered my, my home's um, IP address. So the, ne the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on add. So a lot of times I like working from my mother's house. So when I'm at my mom's home, she has, obviously she has her own IP address. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter her IP address and save it. This way, whenever I'm at her house, I can RDP into this server without a problem. I'm gonna go ahead and, and save that. You want to go continue saving any safe IP addresses um, on here because these will be the only IP addresses allowed to connect to the server. Every other IP address out there is going to drop. So again, the only two IP addresses that are allowed to come in currently are these two IP addresses. Any other IP addresses out there will be dropped by the firewall. They will not be allowed uh, to connect. And that's it. Now you've taken care of this with the Windows Defender Firewall with advanced settings. Just make sure that you change the, uh, that you also add these rules in the shadow TCP in, as well as the user mode UDP in. Okay, because those are also all part of the remote desktop uh, rules. And you wanna make sure that you add those IP addresses in there. Once you've done that, you're safe from any hackers. No one can get in. OK, either uh, either because you're not allowing anyone in or because you're limiting the amount of uh, tries that they can do um, before they get blocked. So um, this this is my favorite uh, method, the Windows Defender Firewall. But it's important to keep this one open uh, because let's say, for example, you decide to go away on vacation and you have the Windows Defender Firewall and advanced settings um, up. So, and what you do is you basically, since you're going on vacation, you decide to turn it off so that you can RDP while you're on the, at the airport or at the hotel, wherever you're staying um, and things like that. Then this one will take over. Uh, the local security policy will be, um, won't allow anyone to get the password wrong three times. And as soon as you get back home, you turn back the Windows firewall so that nobody can connect whatsoever. Okay, guys. So I really enjoyed making this video um, and 
I really appreciated you coming to my channel again. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions, okay? Thank you guys, bye.